Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal. <laughs> um, Colby Meyer wanted me to review <clears throat> Great Value Crunch Honey Oats. Now, I'm assuming he means the Great Value Crunchy Honey Oats. Um, I think these are probably the Great Value's version of, of Honey Bunches of Oats. I don't know about that, but kind of looks like, like them. Okay, so I got I got a box of it. <clears throat> Cheap. I can't remember how much it was. A dollar seventy five or something like that. Got a little sixteen fluid ounce of Highlands two percent milk. Um, so let's uh, check this thing out. Rise and shine. It's breakfast time with these brain teasing puzzles. Some puzzles on the back of the of the box. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Twelve grams of whole grain per serving. Natural honey flavored multigrain cereal with granola. Yeah, that sounds like honey bunches of oats. 150 calories. Total fat is 1.5 grams. Two percent. Two percent. Uh, sat, uh, saturated fat zero. Trans fat, zero. Cholesterol, zero. Sodium, 140 milligrams. Total carbohydrates, 33 grams. Dietary fiber, I already said that, I think, two grams. Total sugars, seven grams. Um, includes seven grams added sugars. Protein, three grams. Uh, no vitamin D, no calcium. Iron, you get 5.4 milligrams. No potassium. Thiamine, you get 60%. Niacin, you get 10%. Vitamin B6, 10%. Folate, 30 MCGs DFE. 20 MCG folic acid, 8%. Uh, pantothenic acid, 10%. Zinc, 15%. Okay. Let's see sugar, whole grain, rolled oats, some rice, canola, and or soybean oil, corn syrup, salt, barley malt extract, molasses, cinnamon, honey, caramel color, natural flavor. Contains wheat, distributed by Walmart Incorporated. Um, is that it? I've never seen this on a box before, up here on where you know where you're opening it. To open, slide finger under tab and break seal from left to right. Wonder why that matters, which way you go with your finger. I've never seen that before. No prizes? <laughs> So, so <clears throat> who does it matter to, um, like, do you, do you cut the whole top off, or just a little, just like a little hole, just for, um, just for a little bit to come through? Um, some would say it's better just to do, like, a little part of it here, so all you have to worry about covering would be this part. Otherwise, you have the whole thing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, the whole thing to, to cover. Because I, I use, I don't know if you guys, but I use um, my clothes pins to, to, you know, close it up. So all you got to do is do this corner with that. Put that on it. Stick it back in the box. But we do use these, uh, we get these pressure sealed um, containers. Um, then we pour our cereal off into there. And then it's sealed inside that container instead of trying to keep it fresh inside this bag. So. All right. Okay. 
Got a little cluster there with the rolled oats. Oh wow, Man, that's crispy crunchy all right. You get the honey, wow, lots of honey. A little bit of cinnamon. Get the sugar. A little, little of the corn syrup. Yeah. Um, wow. That's really good. <clears throat> Get some. Here's the, the granola. Good granola. I was just curious to uh, any of you get like cereal cravings at nighttime. You'll just be sitting there and uh, um, cereal will just enter into your mind. It just it just enters there and it just sits and you keep thinking about it. And the more you think about it, the more you want some. It's like, it's like after dinner about <clears throat> maybe, maybe a couple hours later or something like that, we start thinking about, you know, a bowl of cereal, just uh, some cold milk over it. Um, you know what kinds are in there and <clears throat> you just start thinking about it. <clears throat> Especially if you're like, you're watching a show and the people in it are eating breakfast and they're pouring a bowl of cereal and you see that <laughs> or or they're they're drinking coffee or or <clears throat> they're showing you they're showing the people you know watching their audience you know uh that they're making coffee or something like that and all of a sudden you want coffee and sometimes it's at it's a lot of times at nighttime it's just kind of weird the cereal <clears throat> Sometimes my wife and I will, all I have to say is, uh, you know what I'm thinking? I'll be looking at her. And she goes, you want cereal, don't you? <laughs> All right. It's a good cereal. I mean, I poured the milk over it. Chatted for a second. <clears throat> and uh, it's still crispy crunchy. So it holds its crunchiness. Nice, sweet honey and cinnamon taste going on in there still. good cereal. Definitely ain't nothing wrong with that. 
and for the price cereal is ridiculous priced these days five dollars for a box of cereal this size this is a an 18 ounce box <clears throat> some of these you might consider this almost like a family size six dollars probably for this one used to be able to get a box of like just to say for example captain crunch fruit loops you know for two dollar fifty cents three dollars somewhere around there back in the you know back in the day and i know infl i know prices you know inflate and everything but some of these <clears throat> stores just really really up their prices like to the point where it's unnecessary <clears throat> the uh, the little warehouse market that we shop at near us the neighborhood surrounding it and our side of town is not considered a <clears throat> well to do side of town not at all <clears throat> so the people that come there can't really afford those prices but it's convenient it's close by a lot of people so they're forced to go there and uh, <clears throat> i can't see them making that much money on 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 stuff people you know for people that can't afford a lot of that and prices in there i don't know and you look at the place and you hear the name warehouse market that doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't scream to me um high society grocery you know no Reesers. Ooh. That's a fan. That's a that's a that's the last name of the owner, Reesers. You know. Now that's and where that one's located is more higher society side of town, <clears throat> an area, but a warehouse warehouse market. That doesn't say to me six dollar box of cereal. Some of the, the guys that work in there, they've been there for 30 years. At least one of them have been. But if I was him, I wouldn't feel so um, like guilt-free, you know, for having those kind of prices in there. And I'm sure, you know, I mean, it's not coming from the ones that are running the store. It's, the, it's, it's their main corporate office where the prices, I'm sure, are coming in from where they, they tell them, where, you know, how much to up the prices or whatever. <clears throat> so, they don't have no control over it. So it's not really the manager's fault that, that I that I would assume anyway. But anyway, there you go. Um, Colby Meyer, Great Value Crunchy Honey Oats. 
I'm sure this is the one you were talking about. If not, I apologize. Let me know which one it was. Maybe next grocery run I can get the right one. But we got to eat these first. But yeah, I like them. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it here. I thank you all for watching. Excuse me. I appreciate it. <coughs> and we'll see you on the next one. Whoa. Um, when I put my hand down like that, I almost put, I almost hit my, I hit my, my spoon, the, the handle of it. Man, there was cereal and milk in there. If that would have catapulted all over everything to the right of me, I would have been so irritated. Oh, man. But I know you guys would have liked that. Especially if it, you could see it, you know. Set the slow motion. Cereal and milk. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.